Hi, I'm Scott Willison, owner of the Confluence Fly Shop in Bellingham, Washington. Uh, it is March up here in uh, North Puget Sound. It's a time of year, later in the month as it warms up, we can expect to see some uh, chum and this year actually pink fry, pink salmon fry, coming out of the rivers and uh, you know working their way through Puget Sound on their way out to the ocean. Uh, once they hit the sound, they become a really important food source for sea run cutthroat. Uh, March, April, May, you'll definitely want to have some fry patterns in your box if you're pursuing sea run cutthroat out in Puget Sound. Uh, the pattern I'm going to tie today uh, is a kind of a variation of a, a pattern called Chum Buddy's Baby. Uh, it was developed by uh, uh, consummate fly fisherman and, and guide uh, Justin Waters of All Waters Guide Service uh, over on Hood Canal and really effective pattern especially earlier in the season too but it'll work throughout so I'm gonna begin by placing a debarbed uh, Gamagatsu C14S in size 6 in my vise I like this black nickel finish it, uh, it is really pretty corrosion resistant out in the salt. Uh, I'm using a 140 denier uh, brown olive thread. Begin by just laying a thread base here. You could also use olive, you could use black. I don't think your thread color is too terribly important. And then for my body, I am going to use some pearl lateral scale yeah, I only need two strands for this we're going to tie this in toward the eye of the hook and then I'm going to wrap this back structural reinforcement we're going to dab some brush on zappa gap over that layer before we come forward this will really lock it into place and uh, help your fly survive the sharp teeth of all the cutthroat you're going to catch And then rather than clip these strands, I'm just going to pull those two strands back. And we'll trim them to approximately twice the length of the shank. Um, next for my wing, I'm going to use an, a black uh, fluorescent chartreuse barred predator wrap. thing about chum fry in particular is they have uh, very pronounced uh, kind of tiger stripes on the fry so that's a feature I want to incorporate into most of the chum fry patterns I fish and I've got five or six strands here and I'm gonna center tie that in and then pull the rest of it back there. So I've 10 to 12 strands of this in the wing. I want to keep it relatively sparse. Yeah, I'm going to kind of randomly trim that up so it's not all one length. Lastly on the wing I'm going to top it with a little bit of red fox squirrel tail. Again, a little goes a long way. This kind of adds to the barring color. And a lot of the fry you'll see out there are kind of a ruddy red, reddish color too. So I like this, the squirrel tail look in the pattern. Make sure that's, that's on the top of the shank there locked into place and then we will
we'll go ahead and trim those ends. We'll form a neat little head there. And then go ahead and whip finish. Cut that olive thread and then I've got a, another bobbin spooled up with uh, fluorescent red 140 denier ultra thread. And what I'm going to do is just create a little sort of gill splash or hot spot back here at the back of the head. Sometimes I think when you have a lot of the, the natural fry swimming around out there. I feel like, how, are, how is a cutthroat ever going to pick my fly out of the lineup? So having something a little bright or just eye-catching incorporated into your fly help gets the job done. So we'll trim that up. Next I've got some uh, silver 1 8 inch stick-on eyes. I'm going to stick one on each side. Of the head here. And once I've got those sufficiently in place. I'm going to go over that with uh, a UV resin. This is a thin formula Loon UV resin. And I'm going to do this in two steps. I'm going to start by filling the gap between the eyes. And then we'll go around and cover the whole eye. And the pupil. And there you have it, uh, the Chum Buddies baby, ready to be fished on a beach near you. Thanks for watching.